Alright, so for week 13, we're going to look at the second part of the Robin Ford lick we started last week. Um, and this one's slightly weird. I think the, I had to mess with the fingerings a lot, and um, that sounds dirty. Um, but when I got them, actually, when you kind of get a hold of them or not, it's not as weird, it's still weird. Anyway, it goes. Um, little that second part's really cool but anyway uh, the first part is that the first little phrase remember we're in C minor and then the way to think about it and to visualize it is the next lick so after you get this the 15 on the high E string, then 16, 15, 13, 12. I normally uh, shift with my first finger, but some people do their pinky. I mean, you could go whatever is more comfortable for you. Uh, but that's the first little phrase. Second phrase, like I said, you end where you end, you're going to start with, with in this case, we're in um, C, and we're ending on the 12th fret on the B string. You're going to switch. Now you're going to have to, this is what I'm talking about, you're going to have to change positions. So you're going to have to actually take, um, now we're going to switch, and we're going to put our third finger on the third string 12th fret, which is just one string lower uh, than where you ended that first lick. Because you're 12 uh, on the B string, now we're going to start this next phrase on uh, the G string 12th fret. And that's like, and these are thirds fingerings of thirds, I should say, he's playing them, um, if you play them together you can hear them like that, but anyway, so these are thirds, so if that's coming right out of your Dorian pattern, Think about that pattern. You actually. So if I played an A, which I did right there. Or wherever you move it to. Anyway, so that's your next phrase. Um, pretty cool. Then you're going to shift back and it goes out a little bit. It goes. Uh, so we ended right here. B string on the 8th fret. Now we're going to jump back uh, down a string and back a fret to the 7th. And then you're going to pivot off of this ninth on the 4th string. And those notes are, you know, when things go out, when, they're, when you go out, it, it's uh, sometimes it's kind of hard figure out what they might be thinking, but I think if you look at that, that's just your Dorian pattern moved down a half step. And that's a real um, that's a real common way to get out sounds is just shift your uh, pattern down or up. Uh, but then in this case, down. And I think that that's probably what he was thinking, but he may not have been thinking anything. He may have just been listening. But anyway, so we got... And then the very next thing is he plays a diminished triad.
which is your starts with mm. your first finger on the fourth string seventh fret and then you go to the tenth and then you go to the eighth and that puts you back I mean it puts you back in your pattern in C or it puts you back in the minor pentatonic which is where the, the where the lick ends so I think you know uh, if, if you'll notice um, from last week we didn't go over this part of the lick but I had the tab up I actually changed the fingerings uh, I had that a little bit differently I had it like this whoops um, that, the last three notes were this it's only one note difference but you have to change your fingering as opposed to this. And I think he probably didn't play it that way. That's more of a way like Wayne Krantz or somebody would play it. Um, Robin Ford, when you watch him, he calls it the claw. His hand is real tight. So I'm pretty sure the way I've got it tab now, I'm, I would think that was the way he would have played it. If I could play it. So we got this, the whole thing is... If you put it with last week's, which I'll probably mess it up because I haven't actually been practicing that, but we got, uh, oh, whoops, told you it would. That's the whole leg. Uh, one thing about it, I, I kind of pulled, when he played it, he played these licks very close together. Uh, the in the description there's a link to the actual recording and the time stamp of about when it starts um he actually played a few notes in between there that were sort of just like phrasing notes so um but they didn't really make sense on their own so i just kind of cut them out edited them out and and put these two together so really it is two separate licks um but uh it's nice because it's slightly out, but uh, because it's Robin Ford, it's still tasty. But anyway, so that's week 13. Uh, if you like this, hit the subscribe, all that stuff, uh, and uh, appreciate it. Thanks.